If you're in the market for some new dirt bike or MX goggles, stick around because I have some tips to keep in mind for your new goggle buying journey. Hello and welcome, I'm Mike Glass Tyler, where today we're gonna to be talking about how to choose what to look for in dirt bike goggles and motocross goggles. I don't know why that was such an awkward intro, but we're gonna be breaking down the frame technology and lens techs so you know which features are a must and which to consider in your next pair. Also, I'm gonna be talking about our two favorite MX goggles to get you started. And if at the end of this, you're ready to order, don't forget about Old Sport RX. Definitely don't forget about our See Better Guarantee because with that, you're never stuck with something that you don't like or just doesn't work for you. You have as long as 45 days with them, even if you get them in prescription. We love to take care of you. Make sure you like what you get and that you're happy with it. So you can always reach out to us. Our opticians are also a great resource to make sure you get it right the first time. So you can always reach out to us. All right, let's get into this. All right, so let's start off by talking about goggle frame technology, specifically helmet compatibility. Many goggles have outriggers, a lot of them actually to help to adapt to a wider range of helmet shapes that allows the goggle to go over the outside of the helmet, but then it doesn't stretch the goggle frame out too much so that that has a nice seal on your face. It's gonna also help to align the goggles and give you just the right amount of strap tension to keep them securely on your face. Also, it helps with comfort, of course. You will also find, uh, probably really hard not to find, most of the straps are nice and wide and have a good silicone strap so that it doesn't slip down the back of your helmet and it stays on and you don't have to fuss with it. Another thing to be aware of with the frame technology on the goggle is their sweat management system. I mean, sweating is inevitable, but motocross goggles have two key features to manage it and it helps to keep your vision fog free. There is a built-in ventilation system, which is uh, vents strategically placed around the frame to help encourage airflow. That's this big space that you see all around the outside of the goggle. Uh, they usually have foam covering it just to make sure that it minimizes the amount of dirt and dust that can make it through. Just letting that airflow through, it's gonna help with minimizing fogging, help to cut down on too much sweating. The face foam also is a big one. Pretty much all the MX goggles that we have have a nice triple layer moisture wicking face foam. The triple layer, if you're unaware of it, has uh, three layers for ventilation, for structure, and for comfort. And that uh, outermost portion of the triple layer is going to be more of a fleece, so it's nice and comfortable, but helps to wick away sweat. Just across the board, a sign of quality to have that triple layer face foam. Another thing to keep in mind when talking about frame tech is an interchangeable lens system. Watch any of our best MX goggle videos and you will see that they all have interchangeable lens systems because most people like to have separate lenses for their goggles, not have to have a bunch of different goggles so that they can have different lenses. You can have clear, you can have a tint. Uh, one of my favorites is 100% their Hyper uh, tint technology and of course Oakley's prism is unrivaled. You get the perfect amount of coverage in any conditions. You have more control over the light, over the, the color perception, and today interchangeable systems are easier and quicker than ever. I will be honest with you, the majority of them out there, however, are still interchangeable without the system. It's just a matter of, you know, just the traditional way of pulling the goggle away from the lens and there are little hooks and little spots for the hooks to go into in the lens and uh, pretty easy to swap out. But another thing with lens interchangeability is you want to keep in mind the better quality lenses are going to be actually formed to the goggle as opposed to being flat and just wrapped around the goggle that helps optically speaking, uh, it gives you a much better optical experience. Uh, but a lot of the brands talking still about interchangeable lens systems have proprietary lens swapping technologies. So it's a little more hassle free. Both of these guys do, and we'll get into that in just a moment. Hey, if you are enjoying this content, but maybe you have additional questions on MX goggles or prescription inserts, well, you should reach out to one of our very friendly Sport RX opticians because they would love to help you. And for even more lists on top dirt bike and motocross goggles, we have videos and we have blogs, and we'll put a link in the description below. 
Now, when we're talking lenses, impact resistance is a big one. Obviously, safety is first priority. You're wearing goggles to protect your eyes, for, I mean, for a lot of different reasons. It's gonna primarily be to protect your eyes from dirt and dust coming up and hitting you in the face. Obviously, you have more control over light with different lenses that you can put in the goggles, uh, but from things flying up and hitting you in the face, you want impact resistance to be peak concern. Most of the common MX goggle lenses have an injection molded polycarbonate lens that's going to help to protect against high velocity debris. Oakley has a proprietary option here as well. They call their lens material plutonite. That is actually a lens material that exceeds ANSI Z87 standards uh, and also nice and anti-fog. That is on actually when I talk ANSI on the front line. We're not looking at the front line here. Uh, but anyway, definitely really good options out there for you. All of these guys are very impact resistant and you definitely want to keep that in mind. So another thing to look at with lens tech, I kind of talked about it already. Contrast enhancement is really nice. As I mentioned that I like the HyperTech. I really like the Prism Tech. It's going to help to uh, give you better reactions times to those split second decisions when you were moving at high speed because the contrast enhancement makes it easier to read the terrain. It has enhanced depth perception cues, which makes it easier to read the ins and outs. And when the ground all of a sudden falls out beneath you, you're a little more prepared for that. It just helps make the terrain pop a little bit more. It also can help if you're navigating jumps. Obviously, being able to read the terrain better is never a bad thing. Still talking about lens technology, I mentioned this element when talking about the frame and its ventilation system, it's anti-fog. Your lenses also need to have a good anti-fog coating. That's super important. It can't just be ventilation is going to cover all of the problems. The anti-fog coating plays a big role here as well. That is something that is going to be pre-built into your MX goggles. These guys come standard with that. Some of the really cheap goggles might not have any or as good of an anti-fog coating. So do keep that in mind if that's something that you are struggling with. Another thing to note while we're talking about that and while we're uh, talking about lenses and optics is we can't miss this guy right here, center stage, front and center, the insert, prescription inserts. If you are like me, a prescription wearer, this is a huge deal. This is a game changer in my opinion because this goes inside of the goggle holds your prescription and allows you to actually see what you're looking at. For a lot of people, contacts are not a great solution, especially because they can dry out, especially if you're in, you know, arid, really dirt, dusty environments like you tend to be in an MX world, then contacts can be really problematic. The prescription insert is a great solution to this problem. I will be honest with you, it's not perfect. It's not like we have fixed every possible issue out there, but it is really and truly the best option on the market. And for me, such a huge game changer, especially in the snow, because these work as well in the snow goggles. If you are a multi-sport individual, you like MX during the summer, you like snow during the winter, this can go between your snow goggles and your motocross goggles. So keep that in mind. This, of course, while we're talking about anti-fog, does have the option for an anti-fog coating to be included, and I always recommend it. The last thing on lens tech is to talk about tear off posts. If you aren't familiar with that, you probably are, I'm sure, but those are those notches that are coming out on the edges of the lens, and that is going to help to uh, take care of the mud, dust, and debris that is bound to get on those lenses. Tear-offs make it a quick and easy way to get back to that clear vision, even when you're on the go. I would say it's almost a necessity for races. You have a few different layers, you rip off one at a time, and then you have a clear lens to look through immediately. Really great option for casual riding as well. Most MX goggles, a lot of them, will have two tear-off posts on the lenses, on the outside of the lenses. Oftentimes, a third post will be on the outrigger, or sometimes it's a strap clip that has that third post. That's gonna allow you to install standard and laminate tear-offs. Now that you are an expert at choosing dirt bike and motocross goggles, or you know what to look for, we have two examples that show everything we discussed. First off is my absolute favorite goggle coming out of 100%. It's called the Armega. It's actually a 2020 Rexy winner, you guys. 
Best MX goggle. This has a perforated triple layer face foam. What do I mean by perforated? I mean, there's actually holes, venting holes in the foam itself. That is a unique thing. I don't think that exists anywhere else on the market. Maybe it does and I'm just ignorant to it, but a really, really cool feature uh, and function. It is designed to push air through those holes, which gets you more uh, circulation and air to your actual face to help minimize as well as being moisture wicking, it's actually pushing circulation directly to your face. The lens is very much shatter resistant. There is a quick lens swap tech on this, which is very, very easy and very secure and very much available with a prescription insert. Then we have the Oakley Airbrake MX, definitely my favorite coming out of Oakley. This has been around for quite a while and for good reason. It's an amazing looking goggle and it performs. It has a contoured face that eliminates pressure points and has a continuous seal. That Plutonite lens that I mentioned has very high impact resistance and of course, optimal visual clarity. The Prism technology is incredible. You have MX specific options for contrast enhancement for different environments. You have a switch lock technology for easy lens swapping and very much available with a prescription insert. So that wraps it up for what you need to know if you are in the market for a new pair of motocross or dirt bike goggles. I hope that you learned something now. You are much more equipped to make a great decision on your own. If you are liking either one of these styles, stick around for a little bit longer. We'll have an easy to click shop now button. Also, if you are ready to order again, don't forget about that See Better guarantee. I really think it gives you a ton of peace of mind. And honestly, for the peak peace of mind, most peace of mind, if peace of mind is your thing, our opticians would love to help you reach out to us. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was interesting or valuable information. If so, throw us a like. You guys, it helps us, please. <laughs> you can find relevant videos over here. Also for that quick and easy shop now button, check this out. You can order these goggles quick and easy. And also I think you should check us out on our social media outlets. We have cool content there. I bet you're gonna like it. Otherwise I wouldn't recommend it. I like it a lot. I think you will too.